Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. Today we're gonna go over the Navionics app. Uh we're gonna pull up Lake Murray. I'm gonna show y'all some of my spots and hopefully share some knowledge with you. We're gonna break this down into three parts. So if you enjoy the video and you want to see the second part or the third part, let's show me that by hitting a thumbs up, hitting that little red button over there, over there, over there, somewhere. And let's get into it. Start with the lower, well, I say lower, but most people say upper half. Basically, you've got two bridges right here. It's three, 391. You've got Black's Bridge right here. You come down to big man's is right here. All right. I normally, it, not 90% of the time, if I'm fishing after work or something, I will be putting in at this boat ramp right here. At Black's Bridge, I put in at this lower ramp. There's also another ramp right here, which is called River Winds. And if you keep going, you do have big man's marina right here which on the map is right here and you also have and then you have barstow right here all right so we'll start back up here at blacks <clears throat> if you go this way and you keep going you actually run into saluda river and you've got kempson bridge right here and you come back, and there's actually a point right here. It'll have two docks on it right there. Two docks. And there's actually a stump. Like two stumps right here. And it's a really good spot for in the morning. Like around 9, 10 o'clock after... You get done like frog fishing or something. And you keep coming back this way. <clears throat> and this right here. Here, I'll, I'll zoom out. You got Black's Bridge right here. You want to go one, two coves over. If you come back in here, it's actually a really, really good spawning flat. I've made a couple videos back here. It's uh, nothing but uh, timber right in here and right in here all right now we're back at blacks this cove right here is where the five pounder shallow video came from uh, we personally call this cove the drain pipe because if you look there's a road right here at the end and there's a drain pipe right here and these docks right here usually produce i fish these docks probably 80 percent of the time i go fishing when i put in a blacks all right then you go up and the next big cove which also has a creek running into it i don't know why navionis doesn't show that but it has a creek right there i believe it's a big creek and i've actually caught a seven pounder off this dock right here so let's zoom in right there all right and uh i've made a couple of videos back here there's a brush pile right here in the middle see the shallow spot right here is actually just nothing but brush and you've got a bunch of stumps leading into this creek channel right here and then you skip a little cove and go into this cove now i've i've in the the tournament we won actually caught a good three pounder out of here. We caught some fish up here. All of these docks on the left side are really good. And, all right, we go down to the bottom. Not this cove, but this cove I call Bertha Cove. Because there's like a five or six pounder in here I've lost like three times. These docks are really good, and there's a really shallow spot in the back that normally has a keeper fish on it. And there's a, a riprap right here. 
you see all, all the transitions right in here it's really good for a crankbait and then from this one it's back out you want to go black's bridge one two three four coves down and normally if i'm having a really bad day or it's really hot this cove is almost always shady and right back in here is a really good spot this dock right here always has a fish on it and these two docks sometimes have them and there's a uh, stumps and stuff right here all right let's see we keep going around now as soon as you take the turn to go towards big man's you've got this dock right here which is the one we caught the four and a half pounder on in the tournament it's a uh, it's got a bunch of riprap and then i have a couple poles out here that an uh, old dock was attached to and it also has a really good transition into deep water so that's really good and you go to the next point and <clears throat> it's got these flats right here that come out to 18 feet of flat so you can actually get right here in the middle and throw 10 feet and drag it back to 18 and if they're on that summer pattern you can normally find some there uh, most of this like big man's bridge riprap you can catch some on it sometimes but if you go down to these docks right here Let's see I want to give you all the exact dock it should be a little cut I want to say it's this one yeah a little cut and then this dock right here I've caught a six pounder on and there's a, a point at this point right here it's really rocky right here <clears throat> and you can actually normally in the summertime if you're taking a kid fishing this place right here is really good because they're really easy to catch I mean they're not never really big but you can catch them all right we go down let's see dock dock right here I've, I've caught 15 pounds and three cash right here off this little point right here it's all rock all through here all up to right here there's nothing but chunk rock and you go right here so you got bar stole right here if you go straight across and take the first cove it's about four feet of water and it's nothing but grass so frog fishing right here I'll show you on the bigger map so frog fishing right here all right another frog area you want to go from here's bar stall right here you want to go up around and you keep going until you get to right here so right here in this big blue there'll be some some power lines right here and you got camp bar stole and everything right here you keep going and if you have a, a giant boat you can get in right here but if you have a bass boat you need to go around here and all this right here is good frog fishing it's all nothing but sticks and stuff there's a video probably two or three videos of me catching fish in there and right here is where I caught a seven and right here I caught a five and right here I caught another five all in the same day so I'll show you that area it's right here all right then you go down here to clouds Creek this cove right here is extremely good in the morning if you keep going down this cove right here I've caught a lot of fish on and uh, 
just uh, before we do the second part, we'll talk about this hump right here. So you've got where you turn to go to the big man's and you go to back to blacks. You come all the way down and you don't take the right or the left to go to spinners. There's this hump right here with a buoy on it. It's about 12 foot of water, but it, I mean, it's got really good layers. And there's actually a buoy right here, so it's not really that hard to find. So you come to this buoy. And you know, I normally I catch them going towards the bank, but they'll come in here schooling late in the evenings, early in the mornings, pushing the bait right there up to 12 feet. Especially when the stripers are running in the fall, it's a really good spot. I'll show you that on a big map. So it's like right here. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this type of video and if you want to learn some more or are more in depth, I'm just giving this video a try. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you could share this video to Facebook, it would mean a lot to me. And like the video because so Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, but YouTube, promote it more, and I'll catch you next time. Yee -yee.